GeneratorPowerSource.com here for a review of the Westinghouse W Gen 3600 dual fuel. This generator can run gasoline or propane and slightly different outputs under each. So 3600 running and 4650 peak when running gasoline and 3240 running 4180 peak when running propane. And as you'll see when we did our decibel and voltage test, we did get a drop when running propane to from 121 volts prior to the load. 1500 watt heat gun down to 119 volts and it stayed there never jumped back above uh, 120 when running gasoline we were 121 prior to adding the load and then as we applied the load a brief drop down to 119 and back up to 120 so you see a little bit higher output uh, with gasoline as opposed to propane so th the biggest difference between this generator and many of the other ones that we've reviewed is this is an open frame generator this is not an inverter generator it means it's going to be heavier it's going to be louder uh, but the biggest selling point to most people is it's uh, it's less expensive so this unit is uh, about 629 MSRP a similar sized inverter generator is going to run you anywhere from 700 on up to a thousand twelve hundred bucks so it is uh, less expensive but again heavier 109 pounds it's a two-man job to get this up on the table uh, but you do have the wheels as well as a, a handle out here so once you are on the ground uh, it is relatively easy to to wheel around it's just getting in and out of the truck or in and out of the travel trailer uh, that that might be a two-man job uh, as we take a look on the front of this I'd mentioned that this is already set up for a travel trailer you can see the, the two different style receptacles, 30 amp receptacles. So this is travel trailer or RV ready. Uh, of course, you have uh, two 120 volt receptacles uh, as well. Uh, you have the run switch. You'll notice that the battery is on board right here because this is a push button start. So you turn the battery on and push button here. Uh, this is your selector switch from gasoline to, to propane, whichever you're going to be running. This is the connection for your propane right here. One more thing I want to mention over here you have a fuel shutoff valve so I forgot to uh, to actually have that open when I initially ran this so keep that in mind um, the setup process of this generator is a little bit more involved because when you take it out of the box the wheels are not uh, attached as well as the front feet so you have to, to uh, install those or add them it's a relatively simple process I'll splice that video in right now so you can see how that how that looks but uh, again relatively easy and then you have to connect the battery the battery is disconnected when it arrives but connect the battery so that you can use that push button start uh, this generator also comes uh, uh, with a wireless start as well so you have a little fob that you can uh, push button start this but you need to make sure that that uh, battery is uh, is is turned on so like I mentioned this is not only a heavier unit but a louder unit uh, we just got done testing this under uh, e uh, just a normal mode as well as under a load at 20 feet your 71 decibels under just a normal mode and then as we applied a load 73 decibels at uh, at 20 feet so it is slightly louder than an inverter generator of, uh, of a comparable size but again you got to come back uh, back to that price uh, and this generator should uh, provide enough power to run a 15,000 BTU air conditioner which is what most people want uh, but it's just going to be a little bit louder uh, uh, around the camp um, so that is a full review of the Westinghouse WGen 3600 dual fuel we're gonna have a full write-up in the description below about the decibel readings at the unit 20 feet 30 feet 50 feet uh, as well as under a load and you'll see the voltage drop difference uh, in this generator as well. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll be back with more generator reviews next time.